this is a follower plate, okay? This is what actually goes in the pill. It goes in the pill and goes down and forces the grease to the bottom as you're pumping. You can also use this on a keg. This here is the top of the pump, okay? The pump basically goes inside this hole right here. Move the cap. Yeah, but something you gotta keep in mind of, this right here is where it pulls in the grease. And when you're actually changing from pail or keg or whatever you're using, you need to take special attention to keep this covered. Okay, because if debris gets inside of here, it's gonna clog up the pump. Okay, and how this goes on here, it goes on like this, and you have little screws, if I can line them up just right, right there, that go in there, and this holds the upper plate to the pump. These little bitty babies right here, go into here, just like this. You got three of them, it's like a triangle. Now these wing ones go right here. All right, this just goes right on top like that. This here is for your air. Right here, once you take this little tab out, this is for your air. This right here is for your hose. This is a line out for your hose. It's a high pressure hose. A B2, which is the gun. Now these guns are nice because they have a swivel already built into them. And that comes standard with this kit, right? Yes, it does. Most most guns that you got that, that you buy from other companies do not have this. And this piece right here, depending on where you're at in the country, could, could be quite expensive. But you really need this swivel for the gun. But this, the other end goes to here. Okay, so we have the hose going to here, and this going to here, which completes it. All right. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, Dave, this isn't long enough to do what I need to do. So McNaught makes an extension that plugs right into here and comes out. And it's just, uh, it's just, it's very flexible. You can get it anywhere you want. These wheels go on the bottom of this, okay, which makes this pail mobile, mm -hmm. so you can move it around your shop and whatnot, but, and then of course you have the extra wing nuts that go into here to help hold to the pail. Okay, um, this is gasoa, all right? You can buy this, um, and most um, pipe companies are, are companies that service the oil industry. And the reason I use this is because it's actually made for gas, which is probably the harshest liquid that you can pump through something. Obviously, this is gonna be for, for grease or oil or something like that. You don't really need to use it on that, but since I buy it, I use it on everything. And what we do, is once we spit that on there, We'll put this on there. Gonna go on. There we go. So we're on here. Just like that. Just enough to see what. And we'll take our uh, our B2 and screw it right into here. Same way like that and once you do that then the only thing left to put on here is a regulator okay and how this basically works you're gonna need this right here this quarter inch extension it's threaded on both sides and you're also gonna need I, I use this particular kind. There's about 20 of them out there. This is a, um, an M1 air connector, 
And what I mean by different kinds is there are different shapes right here. But the most common in this area is this size right here. And what this does is that eliminates the problem. Okay, because how this works is you pull this up like this and you can adjust the air. Now, how do you know what the air is? Well, you got this little dial right here and uh, we're gonna have to take one of these off right here. But basically what you wanna do is you wanna figure out now, as you can see, this is out, and this side is in, okay? So the air goes in. So we're gonna take this and put here. The air goes in, and this is out. So we put this here. And then this goes right to here. This is all quarter inch, okay? Now. This right here spins. So you notice I used a, a long shank on this right here, and that's because this thing needs to be as low as possible, okay? But you, you can't be way out here because it's gonna be in the way. But you, your air goes in. Now with this right here, you would put your gauge right here, mm -hmm. all right? And you have each side of it, so it depends on how, how it's facing, depending on which one, because you want to be able to see the gauge when you're doing it. Once the gauge goes on, you put the air in, you pick this up, you turn it left and right, you'll actually see your gauge come up to the pressure that you want. Now, what I found with the McNaught pumps, and this is pretty much all of them, is if you run them between 85 and 100 PSI, they do just fine. Anything lower, you tend to have a little problem with, anything less, you have a little problem with. Now these particular pumps are air vents right here, okay? And there's a reset button on the very bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not. But if you have a lot of water in your air, in other words, you don't drain your tank the way you're supposed to, these pumps will freeze up from the water in the air, okay? And the pump will stop working. Now all you have to do is just let the pump thaw out gonna freeze up right here on this metal let the pump thaw out and you'll use it again these pumps are nearly indestructible but that's the only problem with these little shorty McNaught pumps okay you see this number right here it says 50 to 1 50 to 1 so this is made for grease okay something very very thick But um, like I said, the follower plate here will go inside of here, just like that. And that goes on to there. And this goes on to here. And you're good to go. You can take your, your gun and move it anywhere like this. But like I said, the only the only thing that some people have a problem with is this part right here. But like I said, you can get an extension to go to clip right onto here. Mm -hmm. You don't have to disassemble anything. And, and that's what a lot of people do, is they'll remove this right here and put that extension onto here and it messes up the gun. Don't do that. Always get the extension and put it right on the end. And the, uh, the follower plate, you just leave it in there freely like that yeah. and then it moves up on its own? Because it'll sit is, on top of the yeah, grease? Yeah, as, as your product goes down in the pail, the follower plate will follow it. Gotcha. Okay? And it literally pushes it down because you're going to need... You're going to need the product to be here. As the product is being sucked in, it forms like a cavity as it's being pulled in. And this plate will literally go down and keep that from happening. A lot of guys take this and just toss them. You need to use these. Put it right in there and you're good to go. Put air to it and you're rocking and rolling.